In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily add online payments to your Next.js application. And yes, we're going to do this with all of the modern Next features, like the app router and server actions. And it's going to make our payment flow really clean. So let's get into this so you can start taking payments. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is install the React Square Web Payments SDK. This is a React specific package that gives us a few components that simplify the process of setting up a payment form. You can install that by running npm install React Square Web Payments SDK. With that installed, you can jump into your main page.js file and import the payment form and credit card components that the SDK gives us. And now here's the way we use them. The payment form component is a provider that handles all of the configurations for accepting payments. We can configure it with three main props. The application ID is the ID for your Square application. You can get that in your Square developer dashboard right over here. The location ID is for your specific business location. I've just put main, so everything goes to our main location. Finally, the juicy one, card tokenized response received. This is a callback function that runs after a token is generated for the payment method. Ultimately, you'll put a function here that sends that token to your server to process the payment. But we haven't written that server side function yet, so for now, I'll just add a console log so we can see it running. Then inside the payment form provider, we can put the credit card component to render a credit card input field, and we can see that here. Now, when I input a credit card number and hit pay, you'll see the token value get logged in the console, which means our card tokenized response received callback is running properly. Awesome. So now that we've got our front end set up, let's move to the back end. This is where you'll process the payment token that your front end payment form generates. To do this, we're going to make use of Next.js server actions. Server actions are server side functions that you can call directly from your React components. These server actions eliminate the need to define API endpoints that only your application uses, and thereby drastically simplify your code. In your app directory, create a folder called actions, and then in there, create a file called actions.js. Now, the first thing you need to do in this file is add use server at the top. This is a directive that tells Next.js that this is a server action. Now we're ready to use the square Node.js SDK to process the payment. So go ahead and install the SDK with npm install square. With that installed, we can now go back and initialize a new square client and pull out the payments API. It's important to note that when you initialize a new square client, you need to provide an access token. You can find that token value in your developer dashboard right here. And because this token should be kept secret, you're going to want to store this in an environment variable. So create a .env file and paste your token in there as square access token. With that out of the way, we can now define our server action and it'll look like this. What we're doing here is using the payments API to create a payment. I use random UUID from the node crypto library to generate an impotency key, and then we include a source ID. This source ID comes in as a parameter, and this will be the source ID of the token that is generated on the front end by the Square Web Payments SDK. Essentially, this is a single use token that represents the user's credit card. Lastly, you'll need to provide information around the payment amount. For our example here, I've just hard coded this as 100 cents or $1. Now, if we go back to the payment form on the front end, we can import our server action and call it when our card tokenized response is received and pass it our token. Now you can input a credit card and everything will work smoothly. That's it. You now have all of the pieces for accepting payments in your Next.js app. You can now start to style your credit card form or add things like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Afterpay, you name it. And the React Square Web Payments SDK makes all of that really simple. So we've gone ahead and linked those docs below. All of the code from this video is also available on GitHub, so feel free to check that out as well. If you have any questions about online payments, please leave us a comment or reach out on the forums or in Discord. We always love to hear from you. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.